All right, we want the vertex given that equation in standard form. Now remember rule zero, get everything in standard form, so that means I have to have the square term first, the non-square term, and the positive. What was the formula for the x to the vertex? Negative b over 2a. Negative b over 2a. So that means that the first thing I have to do is identify my a and my b. So let's see, a, b, and c. Ah, good practice, especially if I'm going to use a quadratic formula later. I should remember what C is. So A is going to be negative 2, negative two four. 4, and 3. So I plug those into the formula. That gives me negative 4 over 2 times negative 2. Hmm. Negative 4 over negative 4. Negative divided by negative is positive. positive. So the x to the vertex is 1. Now, temptation will be, if I were to give a pop quiz later or maybe a, one on Thursday, if I say, what's the vertex, there's a temptation to say, oh, yep, I got my 1, I'm finished. Remember, the vertex is an ordered pair. So I need to get my y. The good news is I have a formula that tells me y for any given x. y is equal to negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. So negative 1 squared, oh, I'm sorry, negative 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 4. No, plus 3. What's that? Okay. This will tell me the y of the vertex. This formula tells me the x of it. And then I have to plug it back into the equation. Wait, how's the top one negative 4? Oh, Because it's a negative b. And that negative, people forget, I used to do it all the time. So now this equation, when I kick this answer out, negative 2 plus 4 plus 3 is going to be 2 plus 3 is 5. My vertex is at 1 comma 5. I found the x of the vertex using the formula and the y of the vertex by going back and plugging it in. So the 5 becomes the y, the 1 becomes the x. And now I've got my vertex. I have a rough idea of what this, where this graph high point is going to be. Yes, but the square is not on the negative 2. If you look back up here, the square is on the x. So what I'm really doing in order of operations is doing 1 squared, which is 1, times the negative 2. While we're at it, let's go ahead and talk about zeros. If I were to graph this, I would want to know, I know the high point is 1, 5, but where does the graph, the parabola, cross the x-axis? What are the bases of it? Remember what we talked about, add the zeros, y is 0. So I have to solve 0 equals negative 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. I don't know about you, but that doesn't look factorable to me. I'm not really having anything jump out at me that says, hey, yeah, uh, two things multiply to 3. Well, that's 1 and 3. And two things that multiply the 2, negative 1 and 2. I don't see easily how I'm going to get to 4. Yeah, but I have to remember I have to take column A and column B mixes. Let's just use the Pythagorean theorem. I know what my A, B, and C are. I'm not Pythagorean theorem, quadratic formula. I got A, B, and C, right? That's later. Quadratic formula is what we're using here. So x is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 4 squared minus 4, negative 2, 3, all over 2a. Let's start cranking that down. We're going to run out of room here, I'm afraid, but let's see if we can make it fit. Negative 4 plus or minus 16 plus 12. 
over negative 4. Is that 12? No, 24. So negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 40. That's not going to be neat and pretty, is it? Square root of 40 is a decimal. 40 square root, 6.32. So negative 4 plus or minus 6.32 over negative 4. Now for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and crank out those last two, the answers for us. I'm going to remember the plus case and then the minus case. So in the plus case, subtract the 4, divided by 4, I get a negative 0.58. And if I do the minus case, 4, uh, 4, 6.32. Four plus six. So that's what the four plus six point three two. Okay, there's my ten point three two divided by four. Uh, that works out to be a positive two point five eight. So those are my zeros. Now you can double check me on the calculator. You'll get a couple of different ways of looking at it. So the vertex uses the formula up here. The zeros down here I got by making y equal to 0 and solving it. Kind of the last thing I want to do is do a quick rough sketch with you guys and call this problem done. So on the sketch, rough sketch, here's my vertex, 1, 5. So we said it was, right? 1, 5. And I've got here at negative 0.5. And here at 2.5 are my zeros. And the parabola looks kind of like that. And that's about as, as much graphing as we're going to do. You need to know the vertex, the high point that we calculated, and then you need to know the two zeros at the bottom. I did it again. I can't spell zero. At the bottom. And that's all you need. I'll go back to the work now for you guys to double check yourselves there.